Howdy. So, um, inside again, using my phone yet again. Um, tonight I'll be setting up, oh this is actually hard to hold on to, the, some, some more of this new server. Um, this is the one that's on my Google Plus page with a stupidly large amount of disk space because I can um, get data off my desktop so it's not all reliant so let's sit here a reliant micro server it's got a 750 gig primary disk and then three two terabyte disks in a storage pool it's just a little dual core AMD something in there not that you can see much all SATA not much in the way of rear connections very little actually a couple of half height ports anyway so I'll set this up as a domain controller I tried to do this through my phone which is oops ah oh, no actually I can do it here can I yes server manager that's what I want and get all this set up and then explain why I'm kind of pissed with uh, Hewlett Packard at the moment Ignore that error. I'm just going to add some roles and features. Uh, role or feature based? Yes. Uh, no, I've only got one server in the pool. We want Active Directory domain. Yeah, let's just include everything. And that's Active Directory domain. What's Federation? Nope. Actually, no, we don't need any of the others. That's it. What's Active Directory Certificate Services might be useful. Okay, whatever. No, it's not. Okay, all that's fine. Uh, Active Directory Domain Service, blah, blah, blah. ADDS requires a DNS server to be installed on the network. Prompted to install the DNS server role. Uh, whatever. Alright, while this installs, we'll get started. So, this machine's running Windows Server 2012 R2. I've actually tried installing 2012 R2 on a ProLiant micro server before. Um, didn't end too well. It would get 87% through the initial driver installation and lock up. Anyway, I found out the other day that there is actually a BIOS update for these machines that fixes that problem. So I thought, oh, beauty. So I went to uh, the Hewlett Packard website, got to me download the things, went to download the BIOS image. To download BIOS images for Hewlett Packard servers now, you either need the machine to be actively under warranty, or you need to pay for a care plan. Which means that if you've got an old Hewlett Packard server, you're kind of screwed. Um, I wasn't paying Hewlett Packard. I could have bought another brand new micro server for the same cost that their stupid support plan would have cost. Anyway, did a bit of googling, found the BIOS elsewhere. Someone else had downloaded it and linked it up on the internet, so grabbed that. But uh, what the hell, Hewlett Packard? What are you thinking? As uh, you you say, it's. What was it? it? It is market expectation. Uh, no, it's not. It's so stupid. Um, I'll get back to that in a minute. Promote this server to a domain controller. Uh, yes. Why do you think I installed Active Directory? Okay, this is where it gets fun. We are creating a new forest because there are no other domains in the forest. Root domain name. Well, that's pretty simple. That is the root domain name. Yes, it is. <sighs> Forest functional level. Uh, oh, it's still thinking. Let's let let's not pave it off while it's thinking. Target server is this server. Ah, here we go. Okay. Forest functional level. Yes. Yes. Let's 
drop the forest functional level to 2008R2. Just in case I want to add anything older. This domain is 2012R2. Uh, domain name system DNS server. Okay, you know, I'll leave that tick now. Please don't show the password. Oh, good. Oh, I can't remember what I was typing. No point giving away all the keys to the castle. Delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because the authority parent zone cannot be found or it does not run Windows DNS server. If you are integrating with an existing DNS infrastructure, you should manually create a delegation to this DNS server in the parent zone to ensure reliable name resolution from outside the domain. English? There's an English button. Let's have a look at this. Okay, create DNS delegation, yes. Credentials. Delegation records appointed DNS server as authority for the zone should be created in the... I don't actually control my gateways. Ah, oh, that's a pain. Um, I will come back and fix that later. Yes, I will. I will create a NetBIOS domain name. Yes. Uh, we'll call you DS. Nice and simple. I still got to download all the Windows packages. Uh, this is also a Woosa server, so it can update locally on the network. Oh, we'll locally do DNS. Okay. Password of the new domain administrator is the same as the current password. Okay, sweet. Next. Uh-oh. Prereqs are never good. So I'm going to have to manually modify my gateway's DHCP to now point DNS here, and this can point back at the gateway. Oh, that's complicated. But it happens. Anyway, while that... Oh. Um... Anything really bad? I will ignore it. Um, yeah, so back to the BIOS. Um, yeah, I think it's going to hurt HP more than it helps. I think, but I could be horribly wrong. Um, I, I can't imagine it having been one of the better ideas. I personally will not go with the HP again. I will stick to my Dell servers. They're pretty good, apart from my gateway crashing constantly the other day. It turns out that my site-to-site um, -site VPN tunnel was causing issues. Uh, I need to downgrade the copy of ClearOS on mine, which is a beta copy, and go to the same copy that's on my friend's gateway, which is uh, 6.4, I think, and I'm running 6.6 .6 beta 1. Hopefully it fixes the uh, thing. Um, anyway... Thanks for watching.